having grown up not really in church, I, didn't, I never really experienced what it was like to be in a church and to have people around me. I went through a period that was really difficult, and that's when I turned to the Lord. As I started to sense the healing that God was doing in my heart, just the change He was bringing to my heart, I wanted to dive into the Word of God and help people to understand it. But I had no idea what that looked like. I never thought I was going to be some missionary or something you know, really important. Honestly, in my mind, I thought, I just want to serve God. Um, that led me on a path to meet some people that I had run into that were teaching a class on evangelism, and we would share the gospel with students. We were on you know, campus and we got into a conversation with this girl. My buddy got into the conversation and so he started to share the gospel with her. He gets done sharing the gospel and she's not going anywhere. So he then goes into his testimony and talks about how the Lord changed his life. And so finally, you know, she looked at us and she says, hey, where do you guys meet? And we looked at each other like, nowhere. That was one of those moments that was like a gong in your brain. We prayed about it and we finally came to the conclusion that if we reach college students, they're gonna to have to find a place. That started um, the process to plant a church at Ohio State University. In all that time, I was learning so much, but I had started a company. The problem was it really took a lot of time. And so I'm just trying to get this business off the ground and, and try to you know, earn a living for our family. At the same time, I'm loving really a volunteer position of serving college students. And so my buddy gets back from school where he had been training to be a pastor. The end of the first year, he said to me, hey man, I want you to preach 75% and I'm gonna preach 25%. After the end of the second year, he said, hey man, in another year I'm leaving and you're taking over. I think when you meet with the Lord and the Lord impresses on your heart um, that he wants you to do something, it just changes the focus if the Lord wants me to, to honor Him by serving Him in the church, or He wants me to share the gospel with my friends or neighbors, or He wants me to serve in the kids' ministry, or He wants me to be full-time or go on a mission trip, He has my attention. So for me, it was, the only real question was, am I going to embrace the call and, and am, am I going to say yes? That shift or that refocus that obviously has changed the direction of my life. It's like putting on a new set of lenses. I can't see the world other than now God wants me to see people the way He sees them.